Here we go with the sweatiest Fortnite items of Chapter 2. And I bet no one has all these items. But let's start with the superhero skins. I'm talking about the skins so sweaty that Epic Games literally had to patch and ban them in Arena because of what players were doing with them. I mean, just look at Mongrel using a superhero skin. Oh my- Then, since mentioning the superhero skins, I have to also mention the Leviathan Axe, since this is one of the go-to pickaxes that players use with the superhero skins. And this is one of the axes that became sweaty when it got released, because of how different and clean it looked. But it's nowhere near as popular as the Siren, because when a streamer like Benji Fishy claims a skin, it instantly lets everyone know that that's not going to be a skin you see noobs using. And this basically sums up every Siren user. I can box, I can box him! Yeah. I'm going around, box! Hot dead dead! Nice then we couldn't forget about the Battle Pass skins that were released this chapter, because who expected Midas to be one of the sweaty skins of Chapter 2 when it first came out? I know I did not. I mean, it is the only skin that turns any gun you touch to solid gold, so that helps a ton. And you probably thought the same about Travis Scott at first, since out of nowhere he became one of the most popular skins you'd always run into when playing Arena. And if you want to see what it's like running into a Travis Scott skin in Arena, just look at this. Then some players might have stopped using him recently, but I don't think there's going to be anyone stopping using the Harley Hitter, since it is still one of the most used pickaxes in Fortnite. And this is the perfect pickaxe for sweats, because we all know the tryhards love the simplistic items. That's the main reason you don't see many using back blings. But you might see someone using Deadpool's katanas. And yeah, it's not as sweaty as some other items, but it's definitely one of the best tryhard looking back blings released during Chapter 2. But in Chapter 2 Season 2, the Scarlet Commander was released, and pros instantly got their hands on her, since she could have been picked up for 800 V-Bucks. And I don't know why, but it seems like every player using this skin has a built-in aimbot or something. Just have a look for yourself. But that's not tryhard at all compared to one item only 0.1% of players own. But first, we have to mention Laura Croft, probably one of my favorite Battle Pass skins of Chapter 2. And thankfully, they added the golden variant because that did nothing but make the skin sweatier. But I'm sure that when we first saw the dummy, we thought this was just going to be a normal meme skin that some YouTubers joked around in. But now, it's to the point where if you see someone using the dummy, they're probably going to make you look like a dummy yourself. And Benji Fishy does this all the time. Just look. Probably. Oh! But the Minty was sweaty before it was even released, unlike the dummy. This was one of the most hyped up pickaxes of its season since it was a new and improved version of the Candy Axe that basically could have been unlocked for free. And not going to lie, you would see some noobs using it, unlike the Chaos Agent, because this is one of the sweatiest male skins of all time that you'll never see anyone bad using. I don't know why, but it's like these players take nothing for a joke. Then I don't know why the skinny items always become sweaty, because the gold crow is another example of that. Or, I don't know, it could be because it's gold. And I'm sure 90% of the players who bought the double agent pickaxe pack bought it just for this pickaxe. But Fortnite should release some fan-made pickaxes like how they do with skins, because Isabelle is a fan-made skin that Denny created. And it has everything you could ask for, because I don't know anyone who dislikes this skin. And you can quickly tell with how Benji uses it. It's more of than a pump pump, 100%. Wow, look like chemistry. Double PS, double then it's crazy and funny that the cozy commanders became insanely sweaty. Like, they're meant to be nice and happy since they're Christmas skins. Like, come on! But, I mean, they're only 800 V-Bucks and they have simple designs, so that says it all if you ask me. And I find that it's fun fighting players who use these skins. But I don't ever want to run into someone using the FNCS pickaxe, since only the top of the top Fortnite players have this pickaxe, and different players have it each season. Then let's turn to the Battle Pass really quickly, because I have to mention Jules. This had to be the most loved Battle Pass skin of Chapter 2 Season 3. Then to put the cherry on top, she had two selectable styles, which made things even better. And I mean literally, every sweat was running this skin then. But you don't see many players using the Zadie, and whenever you do, it's definitely going to be in the Champions League of Arena doing stuff like this. Nice! Five build. Nice! 
Oh my we God. also have some skins that are a mix of sweaty and newbie, because Jennifer Walters is the perfect example of this. If you see someone using the She-Hulk version of her, they might be average, but if you see someone using the regular style, I'd just avoid the fight if I were you. But things get sweatier and sweatier as the list goes on, because cue in the Wildcat, and with the skin costing $500, that lets you know that not just anyone owns it. So if you run into someone using this skin, they definitely have a setup that gives them some type of advantage over you as well. And we all want or wanted the Wildcat, but I'm sure we all own Maya. This definitely goes down as one of the best skins of Chapter 2 overall, since you straight up had the chance to make it look different and customize the skin. But it sucks that I messed mine up, not going to lie. <laughs> And it's like any customizable skin instantly becomes sweaty if you ask me, because Trixie did exactly this. She literally just got released around Halloween and is already one of the top 15 sweatiest skins in Fortnite. And you can thank the pros for this because, well, just look at Booga. Right, dude, I'm, the, I'm the king of the Booga drop. I just fought a win, bro, bro. But speaking of items that just got released, I couldn't go without putting Naruto and Sasuke on the list. But I might as well say the whole Team 7, since there's obviously a good amount of sweats running these skins. But I think Mitro makes them look better than everyone else does. They're both. <laughs> but speaking of looking good, if you see someone using a good combo with a throwback axe, they're probably a sweat you don't want to fight. And I know some of you might be thinking this is a Chapter 1 item, but no, it got released during Chapter 2 Season 4. And I couldn't go without mentioning the Double Agent pack as well, because every single item in this pack is sweaty. Because this pack has the Wild Card, Chaos Agent, and Hush, but with gold variants, so I'm sure that says it all. And then it's the same with the anime skins, because Alexa is one of the skins that became tryhard pretty fast. But at the same time, it died down in popularity in no time since it is a Battle Pass skin. And we all know this happens with 90% of the Battle Pass skin. That's why you don't really see many people running her nor the Pit Stop anymore. But if you encounter someone using Pit Stop in one of your matches, they might be doing something like this. basically see players using the Haze or Surf Witch doing this same thing. But I'm going to have to give this Surf Witch the crown out of those two, since you definitely see way more sweats using this skin. I mean, Janna's is the perfect example. And I expected this to become sweaty, but did anyone expect the Cactus Jack back bling to become sweaty? Because you can literally use this back bling on 90% of tryhard skins, and all it's going to do is make your combo look even better. Especially if you use it with the Get Far Out skins, since you can make these skins look however you want. But if you see someone using one of these in Arena, they're going to know every single high ground retake there is, so avoid these skins. But if you're looking for a new skin, you could main Charlotte since she's in the Battle Pass now, and she meets all the expectations to be the perfect tryhard skin. Plus, you got to thank Faye's Sway. Just look how he uses the skin. Ah, come on! Yeah, it's a pretty sweaty skin, but the Skeletara is definitely one of the sweatiest skins released in Season 8. And now you have players going around doing stuff like this with her. And yeah, we all know the aura didn't get released in Chapter 2, but it still made the list somehow, since they released the fresh aura. And although she's not as popular as the regular style of her, the sweat status definitely carries over, if you ask me. And when the victory crest first dropped, I'm sure no one expected it to become sweaty, since it was just a backbling that cost 200 V-Bucks. But I guess it still became sweaty since it is an FNCS item. And we all know everyone loves anything FNCS or World Cup related. But now it's time to talk about the Psyblade, another pickaxe that's insanely unique compared to most pickaxes. So it has to go down as one of the sweatiest items of Chapter 2, even though a lot of pros moved on from this pickaxe to better ones. But speaking of moving on, if you move over to the EU servers, you're going to see that a ton of pros are using the Echo, because this has to be one of the most popular skins that EU pros can take credit for, since they basically made it try hard by doing stuff like this. And even though the Harmonizer isn't the sweatiest of the sweatiest skins, 
it's still a newer skin, so I know it's going to blow up even more each time it gets released into the shop, since pros like Sway are doing stuff like this while wearing the skin. Insane, right? But this video on the screen is insane as well, so click it now.